All right, so today's task is gonna be replacing a compressor and a trained water source heat pump. This is a old building here that they turned into a bunch of lofts, a bunch of small little apartments, and they all have water source heat pumps, small like one and a half ton system. So I'm gonna be replacing that compressor that I condemned the other day. It's got a locked rotor. I wanna get started on that. Let's get some work done. All right, so this is what I'm working with. Train water source heat pump. This whole electrical panel will come out to get to the compressor. But the first thing I need to do is get my gauges hooked up and recover all the refrigerant. All right, so I've got the all the refrigerant recovered. Got the main electrical panel out of the way, all the wiring out of the way. So now we can see this compressor here. Pretty small compressor, not too bad to replace. You do have the discharge line back here. It's a little bit tricky to get to sometimes, but not too bad. Here's the old compressor that I've got out. As you can see, it looks like it's been replaced once before. Just the way that suction line looks. It doesn't look very nice. Same thing with the discharge side. While I've got the compressor out, what I'll do, what I like to do is go ahead and zip tie all the low voltage wiring where it's nice and secure. These units are really bad about shorting out back here and all these different copper lines. So take advantage of this opportunity where I can get to everything. New compressor is brazed in, got it on a pressure test. So we'll let that sit for about 10 or 15 minutes and then I'll, if everything is good, I will wire it all back up. Get this thing on the vacuum. The pressure test went well, so now I got it on the vacuum. Shouldn't take very long with this setup on a small system, but I'm gonna go down and get me some water. A little snack, come back in about 15, 20 minutes. Should be good to go. All right, so while that's on the vacuum, I'm gonna grab me some lunch, sit in the truck, eat my lunch, drink some water. And this little Milwaukee flashlight here is pretty awesome. It can, uh, it's magnetic, and then it also pivots, and it also has this little hook. So you, you can hook it on something as well. Uh, I guess I can just show you there. See, it is rechargeable. Fortunately, I don't think I had it charged up all the way. So now I gotta swap the battery out on it or charge it one of the two. Even though it's rechargeable, it does have a battery. So you can take out the battery and I've got a few of these because they uh, these batteries also go into these nice gloves that I have as well. These aren't something I actually work in, but if I just need to have a set of gloves while I'm walking around on a roof or whatever, um, and keep my hands warm, these things are pretty awesome. But yeah, it came with the same batteries as this flashlight as well, so works out. Yeah, so the job is going pretty good. No issues so far, went pretty smooth. By the time I get done eating my lunch, vacuum should be done. Just go back up there, install that control panel, zip tie all the wires up nice. Weigh the charge in, it's like 50 ounces. It's an R22 system. Uh, but I don't, I don't use R22, I use MO99, which I think is R, 438A, but that's what I use for a R22 replacement. I've had very good luck out of it. No issues. Uh, the pressure is run out, pretty much right, run identical. Um, so yeah, it's worked out for me. So I just continue to use it, but it'll be a, you know, complete new charge 
I'm not going to use anything, any of the old refrigerant. So, uh, but yeah, these little train water source heat pumps, they're not too bad. It's, you know, some of them can be a little tricky, but the smaller ones are pretty easy to work on. I like how they're all inside. So like on a day like this where it's raining and you got to do a compressor change out or opening up the system, it's no big deal because you're inside. So I like it. This building is, um, I think, 11 stories tall. And it has about, I think, 20 uh, lofts or 20 apartments per floor. So they all have water source heat pumps. And they're, I think they're O2 models, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so, yeah, they're, they keep me pretty busy out here doing compressor changeouts and you know, reversing valve change outs, sensors, whatever, all kinds of stuff, leaking coils. I just came out here the other day and condemned uh, three leaking evaporator coils. So that's gonna be on the books for next week. Yeah, this, this place keeps me pretty busy. I'm very fortunate for this contract. All right, so the vacuum has been running for about 30, 35 minutes. It's been shut off for about five minutes now. So. Looks like we're in good shape. Start putting everything back together and weighing the charge. All right, so putting this control panel back in, one thing is getting all the wires nice and tidy back here, because these wires will rub. That's a big problem on these units. So I try to get everything wire tied nice and neat to where nothing will rub. Once I, you know, once I put this back in there, Everything will be nice and secure. So I've got the 50 ounces weighed in. I got the control panel put back together. Everything's wire tied. Everything's secure. Normally this run cap, the compressor, is on the back side of this panel, along with this start assist. And that's just a bad design. If you ever need to get to it easily and check it, you gotta take this whole thing apart. So I, I relocate it to there, basically. Um, just to make everything a lot easier, service friendly. So I got the equipment started up. We're in the cooling mode. Checking the amp draws on the compressor. Looking good there. Got our pressures. Return temp, supply temp. And you can't see it, but behind this panel, I've got the suction line and liquid line temp clamp on there as well. So I'm reading subcooling is super heat as well. I'm gonna check inlet and outlet water temp, but there's really not hardly any space without getting on, on, on the main riser there. I don't wanna get on this braided hose, so I guess I, I could try it right here. But that's where everyone else is gonna be. I don't know how well that'll work, but anyway, so far everything is looking really good. All right, so that about does it. Everything went well. <clears throat> Just gotta get everything cleaned up and head to the house. I really appreciate you guys watching. Hope, hopefully the video turned out okay. You know, I couldn't do too much recording in that tight little spot, especially using my phone. So anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.